and welcome back to my channel. Today, hence the bouquet, I'm doing a bridal look for you. This could be great for your engagement shoot or for your bridal shower. And this is actually a collab I'm doing with Stay Classy. I'm going to be linking her channel below. She is a great YouTuber that has all kinds of wonderful beauty looks and I also tagged her in my 40 beauty questions. So this is our fun little bridal spring summer collab. And this is the look I came up with. This is a very coral spring summer look that kind of makes you dewy and glowy. And what you're seeing here is my actual bouquet from my wedding last year. I think most of you guys know I am a newlywed and this is our, my brooch bouquet. And I really was inspired by my own bouquet to make this look for you guys. Because when Stay Classy and I were thinking about doing a look together and she was saying, well, what if we did a bridal look? I was like, I think I know the look I want to do. Which is this, because it's very inspired by my own brooch bouquet. If you want to see how I did this very bridal look for your engagement shoot, for your bridal shower, just keep watching. Okay, to start this look, I already have on my L Mineral Primer and my Rimmel Matte BB Cream 9-in-1. So next I'm going to be going in with my MAC Painterly Pro Longwear Paint Pot for my eyes. Okay, next I'm going to be going in with the concealer, and I'm so late to the boat. No one is shocked by this at all. Um, I finally have my Tarte Shape Tape. I just bought this, and I'm really hoping that I color matched myself well enough online. That is always so hard to do, so if this sucks, I'm going to be returning it. So, we'll find out. Cover up that blemish. Cover it. Alright, that may have been a good color shade. In person it looks pretty good because you don't want to go too light under your eyes and it's just going to be too much. Alright, next, I have not used this on camera before so I'm kind of excited but I do talk about it. I'm going to be going in with my Estee Lauder Double Wear and the shade that I'm in is Desert Beige. Okay, Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. You guys know this is one of my higher end foundations that I do like, but I do only pull out for special occasions because it's expensive. Now I'm going to be going in with my e.l.f. Blurring Foundation Brush. This looks pretty good coverage. I feel like it's concealed some of my blemishes. I've got one right here. All right, so next I'm going to be going in to set this beautifulness. I'm going to be going in with my NYC Smooth Skin Loose Translucent Powder. Now that we have the powder done, you guys know how much I love my e.l.f. eyebrow kit. So I'm going to be going in with that. And I'm going to be using my Echo Tools eyebrow brush because it is superior to so many other brushes that I've tried. Now, I just like to do the face first. I know a lot of people love to do the eyes first and then the face, and I guess I go kind of back and forth, but I feel like I need, I need my bronzer right now to kind of balance my face so I understand what I want to do with my eyes. You know what I mean? I have been trying a new bronzer lately, and it's from number seven. You can get this at Walgreens, and it is called Maple Number Seven Bronzer. Get in it. I'm just going to go right in here to carve out some cheekbones for myself because as I've told you guys before, I have a very square face. Giving my face a little lift. And I think I've told you guys before, I have, I, you guys, most of you know I'm an actor. If you're new to my channel, hi, subscribe. Um, but I'm an actor, so I've done a lot of photo shoots and there's been, there have been plenty of times where I am leading up to a photo shoot where I'm like, oh no, I have a blemish. It is not the end of the world. I promise you, it is not the end of the world. Because you can cover it, there is Photoshop. Don't stress those kind of things. But I know it's so easy when you're planning a wedding to be like, don't get stressed, you're stressed. Let's go to the nose. I do kind of like squeeze my brush. This is my Luxie small contouring brush, the 512 brush. I just kind of squeeze my, I do have other brushes that I could use for my nose, but yeah, I'm already in it. I'm already here. 
glow on the end. Just have a little glow about you. And then we have a little bit of a bronze on us. Let's do a light blush, just so you could be the blushing bride. You guys know I'm not the hugest, like, blush person. So I'm more of a bronzy girl, but when I was doing my bridal shower and doing my photos, I really did want that just little blush, that, that, that just little lift in your coloring. So I did wear some blush at my shower and my photo shoot. Just a little bit up here. A little bit up here. Just for a little rosy look. This is from my Blush and Bronzer Mini Palette from Coastal Scents. Blend it out a bit. Okay, next we're going to go to the eyes, which is always my favorite part. And I am going ColourPop and Makeup Geek crazy. Are you ready for this? First, I'm going to be going in with the ColourPop shade Shop. I'm going to take a Luxie Fluffy Brush. This is the Luxie 205 Tapered Blending. I'm going to dab all that goodness in there. And I'm going to go right into my crease. And this is a very bold, like, corally spring color. Go all through the crease here. And I've been doing this look right now, this look I'm about to show you guys for days, because I'm just like, I'm loving these shades for this season. I think oranges and corals are really gonna be where it's at this year. All right, I'm gonna bring you guys closer to see my eyes. Awesome. Okay, so just here, in the crease, going all the way through. Down on the lid a little bit and up above the crease. Now that I have my corals on and it's in my crease here, I'm going to be taking a flat brush. I'm going to be going into Makeup Geek Glamorous. Going out here, the corner, giving it like a coppery look. I'm kind of just focusing on the middle to end part of my eye. You guys know I'm a weirdo. I like to clean up after with concealer as far as this portion of it goes. So just roll with me here. Roll with me. Next, I'm going to be going in with the color shade Time Out from ColourPop. And this is a beautiful, oh my gosh, what do I want to call it? This is like a pass, like a... This is a beautiful shimmer pink peach shade that I'm just obsessed with. And I'm going to put that up here in my corner. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get my Fix Plus and I'm going to spray my brush. Going into that shade here. I'm going, yes, girl. Yes. My blushing bride. Blushing Bride. I'm going to be going into this Coco Bear shade from Makeup Geek. And this is a nice, like, reddish brown shade. And I'm going to be taking my Luxie 229 Tapered Blending. Go in there. So I know all of these are in the same shade, family colors. That's what I want. Go down here a little bit on my lid, just kind of make that V shape with the Cocoa Bear. And I just recently got this Makeup Geek Afterglow Pigment. Obsessed. All right, so I'm gonna be making the inner lids just shimmer, 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 because again, we are the blushing bride and we do what we want. So I'm going to be taking my Revolution BX95 brush. It's got this little point here on the end, so it's perfect for like dipping into a pigment. Taking my Fix Plus again. And actually this, I love this packaging because you open it up and it's got just a little dabble in it. So you could just, it's got this little hole in it so you could put your brush perfectly in it. But also in the lid here, it's perfect because it's just, it's got pigment kind of just in here just by chance. So it's perfect to dab your brush into. I'm going to pack this on the inner corner here of my lid here. For an extra poppy color. Love this. Okay, so pack the pigment in here. 
for the inner lids and you can see how that just gives you like a nice shimmer. And I even take it just a little bit into the corners here too. Make sure you put that lid back on because this pigment is loose as a goose and will get all over. And you lose a lot of product if you're not careful. So seal that back up. All right, now I'm going to be going in with my Wet n Wild. And this is my brulee shade that you guys know I love. I'm going to be just taking a flat brush into the color here. I'm going to have to break open a new, uh, my new one soon. So go right up here. Under the brow, under that brow bone. So now I want just a bit of shimmer. So I'm going to go into the ColourPop shade I Love This. Ooh, look at that. Look at that shimmer. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to take a flat little brush. I'm going to go right under this part of the brow. And we're going to add like a little bit of sparkle shine to the look. Like just pure sparkles practically, but with some actual consistency so you don't have to like work too hard. I'm going to be going in the big fluffy brush and I'm just going to be marrying and blending all of these shades a little bit here. And actually, I'm also going to just do it a little, I'm going to fan it out just a little bit more with go back into that shimmery gorgeous time out color and corners a little bit more dimension to them because I do want it to be like a little special. I really like this look. It's a very springy, summery eye look. So now we need some liner. Like I kind of go away from wearing liner every now and again, but when you're doing something special and you know you're going to be at a distance with like the camera and you want your eyes to pop, you got to do liner. I'm going to get some black eyeliner because I love doing a black liquid eyeliner look. If you prefer like a brown or a different shade, do it. I get out my skinny Echo London eyeliner. It's like a little pen formula here. I go right next to my lashes and do a small wing. I don't want this to be crazy dramatic because again, if you're going to your engagement shoot or if you're going to your bridal shower, I mean, we're not going to the club. We're not, I mean, this is you do you, but I'm just gonna do a small wing. All right, now we definitely need some highlight. Guess what I finally got my hands on? Hello, Wet n Wild Mega Glow. Gorgeous little beast, you. Oh, let's just try this out here. Oof. Oh my goodness. Very bridal. Liking that. I like this kind of brush, I think, a bit more than a fan brush. Because a fan brush, I feel like I'm layering and layering and layering to get the achieved look I want because sometimes I just really want to glow. So this is awesome. I like this a lot. I like the way this brush feels. I like the way that this highlighter is applying. Up here. To the end of my nose, I'm just going to tap a little bit of highlighter at the end of my nose. And tap it on the way up. A little Cupid's bow action. Right underneath. Am I glowy yet? I like to glow extra. You can go back on the glow if you want. All right, now I feel like I need my lashes. I need them. As always, I'm going to be curling my lashes first because you guys know, I think I just have very straight eyelashes. All these products claim to curl your lashes for you without needing a curler. Um, I just find them all to be liars. So I'm gonna curl. And I'm going to be going in with my Better Than Sex Mascara. And I don't know, I'm still trying to feel out this product. I was in love with it when I first got it, but it has been super messy and having a lot of issues lately. So today it's not too bad, but I've had it like coming out of the tube down, down the body of the product. I have no idea why, but. You know, 
the tip of that eyeliner that I used is not giving me the achieved like tip that I want. You know you like the, the extra wing because you gotta cut a bitch sometimes. So let me see. Ooh, I know what I'll try. I'm gonna try this. If I F it up, I'm gonna be so mad at myself. All right, this is the least Waiter crazy amazing eyeliner that Sam Bam 89 got me, but like I don't have that great steady of a hand and I've had too much coffee today. So this could come out real crazy. I just want that extra wing tip here. So I'm gonna see if I can make that happen with this. Cause it's a very thin ass brush. I'm gonna try. Okay, that helped. That helped to get that little crisp wing that I was looking for. Now I can cut a bitch with my right eye. Onto the left. This may be my new favorite cheat way to just do that extra wing is kind of go in with one of my favorites and then touch up with this. Cause that, that gave me that wing that I was hoping for. That little, give me my corner. Give me that pinch. Now for the lips. All right. I'm feeling an ultra matte today from ColourPop and I'm feeling like I want to use the twirl. I feel like this is going to kind of blend really well with the look I have going right now. I'm going to be lining my lips with the shade Soar from MAC. And I'm going to be going in with the twirl from ColourPop. Okay. So I have now applied the shade Twirl and I really like this shade and you could stop here. If you like this look where it kind of marries your eyes together with the rest of your face and it's a beautiful spring shade, great for summer, you could stop here. But I also really like to cover with this ultra glossy lip from ColourPop called Fairy Floss. How Midsummer Night's Dream is that? Completely. I'm going to go over the top of that. So I've let this dry just a little bit. I'm not sticky or anything. And I'm just going to go in with some fairy floss. And it still has the really beautiful corally shades, but it gives it this nice little sheen to it. And it kind of lightens it just ever so much. And I really like the way that these two colors combine. Okay guys, this is my very bridal, blushing bride makeup tutorial. I really like this look. I think that this is a very great spring and summer look for either your bridal shower or your engagement photo shoot. It's really going to be very complimentary to the season because your background is probably going to have flowers. It's probably going to be outdoors. Most engagement shoots are. And of course, to kind of go with this look, I had to bring in my own wedding bouquet. As most of you know, I am a newlywed. So I've got a lot of the corals and mints because those were the colors of my wedding. And yes, this is a brooch bouquet that my husband and I worked on together. And by together, I mean he mostly made this because there's a lot of wire in here to hold it together. So if you actually want to know about more of this, just let me know in the comments below. Bye, friends. Thank you so much for watching this bridal tutorial on how to have a very spring, summery bridal glow. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm going to be linking below Stay Classy's video as well. She's going to be doing the day of look, which is so gorgeous. I cannot wait for you guys to see that video too. So if you're new to my channel, I hope you take a quick moment to hit that subscribe button down below to see all the fun videos to come. And I hope you give this a thumbs up if you like it, if you would try this look, if you think this is a great look for a spring summer bride please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video bye friends that was the guy teeth again <laughs>